Cristina. Broken house. God. What's up, guys? Good morning. It's Matt, and you're on the Isla Familia channel. Uh, we have a typhoon, Christine, now going through the Philippines. So we got some side winds here on Camotes. I like to show you how it can look like. Maybe someone, some, someone of you don't know. On this picture you can see the weather forecast for um, this tropical d depression Christine and how they predict you, as you can see it starts spinning in the ocean and then go towards the eastern coast of Luzon and day by day the the wind gets faster and faster so uh, when it get close to Luzon it already became a typhoon that's why the the Luzon was most affected you know by this uh, storm sadly yeah how this kind of wind can affect the the place in which you are living and you know this is not the not the strongest wind yeah because if this is like a real uh, real real deal typhoon then i will be not so smiling now look at that so it started like uh two days ago i think with the wind yesterday was 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 raining whole day and Today we have only wind, but I think it's stronger than yesterday. And you can see here on the beach, there is a lot of garbage thrown by the by the ocean because you know when it's uh, when it's high tide, the water is like um, the maximum high tide water is somewhere until here, yeah. But when you get high tide plus wind and the big waves then of course it will go more far so this is all the garbage from the from the ocean oh now it's strong blowing look at that You can see the it's kind of wavy. You know when the uh, I can lose my heart, huh? <laughs> when the water level will rise, it will be like a big, big waves here. Good for playing. So Tamar. Anton is playing with the garbage as you can see and look look at that here the water just go through this right to put the garbage inside huh? and flush out flush out the sand because it was filled up with the antek uważaj it was filled up with the white sand and here I will show you this this hut, the Kubo. Look at that, even here the garbage is flash on the cliff. See like a lot of garbage here. But this kubo here get broken by the by the waves, by the water. Oh, 
look and there a lot of lot of garbage inside yeah flashing by the by the big waves so not nice huh will be like a lot of cleaning after this typhoon ends they will need to clean the the beach again and, and this is for repairing if someone like to repair it because you know of the wind probably somewhere the, the the line electric line get broken so we we don't have electricity at the moment ah The footage you can see at the moment comes from the Santa Rosa city. That's the city of my wife Marikar. We visit uh, her parents in the two years ago, I think. I can link you a video uh, above. And as you can see, all the main streets are, are flooded. And they have this small river passing through the through the city and look what happened. That's the footage from from the parents' house. So that's my mother-in-law. You can see the house is flooded, yeah. Like the ground floor seems like this the level of the water in this river rise by two meters or maybe even more because they they got some kind of anti-flood walls there but it it didn't help so that's the situation in the in santa rosa luzon <laughs> Bicol? Yeah, Bicol River, they get, you know, like... So... <laughs> so... Overflow! What's... What's the... Where is the worst situation, Jubaka? They said in Bicol, signal number three. Bicol? So because this is like eastern part of Luzon? Yeah. Or north? This is... It's east, yeah? East. This is in the news, most of the Bicol. Yeah, because this... Christina is in the ocean on the east, yeah, from mm. the Philippines. Like always, the typhoons there. Row you, spinning. We have commentators here. <laughs> you see the chicken. So that's the third day of the typhoon Christine. And as you can see, it's getting like uh, less stronger wind now. So I hope soon it will be over and it's not passing through. It's just spinning around uh, east of Luzon, you know. So we mainly get some wind and the rain. Yeah? If it's passing through, then it's there is in my wallet. When it's passing through, then it's really really bad because you have like broken houses the tear of the roofs broken trees broken electric lines then th this can be really ter terrible and dangerous yeah now the most part which is affected is the eastern luzon like a uh, bicol bicol province so you know they they have like a flood there you know they can have a landslides because of the heavy rains. Yeah? That's, the, that's the problem for them. Yeah? The last time I remember Typhoon Odette when we was living in the, on Sikihor. It, it makes some uh, damages. But mainly they are spinning in the ocean, you know, like on the east side of the, of the Philippines. So... Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next uh, episode. Oh.
but rain is like on and off wind is also like you know bit on and off stronger weaker yeah so remember to times thumbs us up and leave us a comment yeah see ya